Do you want to make videos like me, histify and others? Well in this video I am going to tell you exactly how to do that by showing you the process of making this simple video. And if you watch till end I will give you all the assets I use in this video. For that you will need Adobe After Effects and Geo Layer 3 plugin. You can get them through the link in the description. Now for making the historical maps you can link your Geo Layer 3 to this GitHub repository by Andre. The link to this repository is in the description. Now to connect this repository to Geo Layer 3 simply copy the URL. Then go to After Effects, right click on it, click Preferences, then scroll down to the Feature section, click this plus sign, add GitHub repo, paste the URL over here, type master, make the max result to 10 and click apply. To start your project, click new project, then select the size of your video. For YouTube Shorts, it is 1080 by 1920, so I am selecting that. For the frame rate, I will select 30, but you can enter more. I have a low end PC, so I am entering 30. Now for the duration, I am entering 5. You can select it according to your need. Now click the next button. Now select the style of your map. I am selecting being aerial. Then click create. Now when your map comb is created, click shape layer style, add style and then select black color, click apply and then apply. Now click these three lines, deselect this A, go to setting, scroll down, make quality to 10 and enable image motion blur. You can disable this attribution if you want but I don't recommend that due to copyright issues that you can face in the future. Now to make your video more detailed and add depth filling, add vignette effect on the map comb. Now you can just play with the settings till it seems perfect to you because I don't use this effect and do it the other way because in the other way I have more control over the effect so if you don't want to do the other way then skip to this time. Note that this is a free plugin called FX Console by Video Copilot and if you don't have that you can just add the effects to FX and preset panel. For the other way first add an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt and Y then add exposure effect on it and set its value below 0. I would prefer it to be 1.5 till 2. Now select ellipse tool, hold control and double click on the ellipse tool. Hit F on the keyboard, select this inverted option and increase the mouse feather to desire. Now to add the empire search with the help of here in the repository. Like for example we need 1600. So we will search 1600 and then in the result we can see this world 1600. Click on this and add it to the browser. Now with the help of the search filter find your desired empire or country. Now click this pen and draw feature. Now adjust the view according to your empire. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer then select the bottom layer and add drop shadow effect on it. Set opacity to 100, distance to 25, softness to 40 and click this shadow only. Now import the flag of your empire, add it to the timeline, make it 3D, parent it to the world map anchor and then fragment it to the first layer. If you can't see this fragment option just click this transfer control pane. Now adjust the map according to your empire. Now import the grunge texture file, add it to the timeline, make it 3D, parent it to the world map comp anchor and then fragment it to the first layer. Adjust it and then select the mode to linear burn. And as I promised earlier you can find the screen text file in the assets. Now as you can see your empire is complete. Now to animate its view first press the keyframe button in Geo Layers 3. Then move the playhead further. Hold right click and then move the map. Then go again further in the timeline. Then move this map again. And then repeat this process okay until it seems perfect to you.
After animating the view, you need to add the text. For adding the text, select the type tool, click on the place you want the text to be, type the text, select the font, font color and font size according to your need. Now align it with the help of the align panel. For the effects add deep glow and drop shadow effect. For the deep glow set radius to 150, exposure to 0.4 and for the drop shadow set opacity to 100, distance to 15, softness to 40. Now all you have to do is click finalize in GeoLayer 3 and wait for it to finalize your composition. Finalization basically imports high quality imagery for your video. Now for rendering the video you can go to composition tab then click add to render queue. Select the settings. My settings for rendering is in the assets. Select your output area. Now click the render button and wait for it to render your video. Now this is the video completed and as I promised earlier about the assets you can get them through the link in the description. These assets include the settings of all the effects I use, my render settings, the grant texture file and are some other important map files that are not in this repository but are very useful for content creation. This was the tutorial at the request of many of my viewers so if you face any issue just comment and I will help you. Please don't forget to read my pinned comment and click here to see my videos and example. Thanks for watching.